And thank you so much for joining me on this midday. I'm Melissa Messia. Right now, a news conference is wrapping up in the Tijuana River Valley, where local leaders are giving an update on their research into the cross-border sewage crisis. Sky 10 flew over the Tijuana River here on Wednesday. You can see the wastewater from Mexico continuing to flow into the South Bay. For days now, we've been hearing from scientists who have been testing the area, trying to get a handle on the severity of the situation. ABC 10 News reporter Danny Miskell joins us now with some new findings that they just revealed here within the last hour. Danny. Now, local leaders just shared with us what they've learned about this smell called sewer gas or what we know as hydrogen sulfide and they what they found here in the South Bay. Right now, I am standing in what the scientists call a hot spot for that, uh, that sewer gas or that hydrogen sulfide. And this is where they said that they took samples. And because the levels of hydrogen sulfide were so high in this area, they had a theory on how to bring those levels down. And they've just told us what they what they found. They somehow could lower the flow at that point. The um, levels of hydrogen sulfide would go down. And guess what? They helped us do our experiment. Because last night we measured, as we always do, 24 7. And guess what happened to the hydrogen sulfide levels last night? Oh, A lot. Yeah, so, it's Dr. Kim so here's a map of what Dr. Kimberly Prather from UC San Diego was just talking about where she saw those levels drop. Right where the Tijuana River crosses Saturn Boulevard is where they took these samples. She believes if the river flow can be stopped at this point, it will dramatically reduce the levels of hydrogen sulfide, which she says tests regularly in the thousands. But after their experiment dropped below the hundreds, Hi hydrogen sulfide at low levels, according to the EPA, causes headaches poor memory, tiredness, and more. Now, this research is critical because other city leaders were here today making verbal promises to work on getting a state of emergency declaration issued in the South Bay. This presser drew in a big crowd of locals who wanted to hear what was being done about this crisis in their backyard. And if we have it this bad, just imagine how they got it on that side of the border. So it breaks. Can you let the, v the VO play out as long as This has to stop. I have to wear a mask. I have to go stay at my daughter's house. I have to go to an Air Airbnb just to get away from this. Now, Mel, we know that there has been a lot of confusion this week between what scientists are saying and what city leaders are saying if this air quality is unsafe for people to breathe in. Both the scientists from SDSU and UC, uh, UC San Diego say that they cannot confirm that right now, but what they're doing is they're planning to release a survey in the coming weeks. That survey is going to last for a year, and they need people here in the South Bay community to fill out this survey. What they really need are medical records. They need hospitalization records because that is what's going to be able to help them determine if this air quality is unsafe. For, for now, live in the South Bay, I'm Danny Miskell, ABC 10 News.